Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Patrick Zimmerman and today we are going to be talking about the second investment strategy on this channel which is called the Core Satellite Investment Strategy. Yesterday we discussed investing in five different exchange traded funds commonly known as ETFs within your retirement portfolio. That strategy gives you proper exposure and helps diversify your portfolio immensely. With that being said, it's a bit more of a passive hands-off approach to investing. The strategy we're discussing today, the core satellite strategy, is a little more hands-on. In addition to having some ETF, you also implement your own stock choices, and it involves a little bit more research and due diligence on your end. So we're going to talk about what the strategy is, how it works, and then we're going to discuss three different stocks, which I myself am very bullish on and would recommend you guys look into further. Skies. The core satellite investment strategy is a good way for you to be able to choose your own stocks and invest into them while hedging the risk by placing larger percentages of your portfolio into ETFs. The core of the portfolio makes up 65% of your investments. 35% of this goes to a broad market fund. This would be similar to the Vanguard Mega Growth Fund that we talked about yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. 15% of the core investments go to income stocks. Two of the stocks we'll be talking about today are monthly dividend payers and are a good way to increase that monthly cash flow and give yourself a little bit extra income. 10% go into foreign stocks. And lastly, 5% go into the emerging markets. Yesterday, we talked about the Schwab US Small Cap ETF, ticker SCHA. This would be a good fund for the emerging markets as many of these are small businesses which have vast room to grow in the future. So for the satellite stocks, this, these will be smaller positions than your core positions, obviously. You want them to account for about 2-3% to of your portfolio each. If possible, you want these satellite stocks which you're investing in to have low volatility. As the core of your portfolio, that broad market fund with 35% will be tracking the stock market, more specifically the S&P 500, rather closely. An example of a good satellite stock to choose would be like a gold stock, especially the climate we're in right now with the Federal Reserve Bank pumping so much cash into the economy. The price of gold has skyrocketed. As of today, it's approaching $2,000, and I believe I saw a price target of up to $3,000 by the end of the summer. I'll be interested to see how that plays out. The reason a gold investment would be a good choice as a satellite stock is because it doesn't necessarily track the market. The price of gold is rising right now because the Federal Reserve continues to pump cash into the economy. If we see the market take a huge dip tomorrow, then that really has no correlation on the price of gold. So the first stock we're talking about today is Realty Income Corporation, stock ticker O. It's trading currently at 62.66, and here's the one-year chart. You can see we're 11% down from the beginning of the year. Now, as I said, this is a monthly dividend payer. And it's probably one of the best ones out there, in my opinion. They've been growing their dividends at least one quarter out of the past 26 years. And that dividend has not decreased at all since then. Right now, they're offering a 4.51% yield. Which means if you have $100 invested into realty income, you're getting $4.51 a year. The annual payout is shown as $2.80 and is adjusted for the price of $62.72 rather than $100. The payout ratio here of 83% is generally high, but because Realty Income is a real estate investment trust and they have an obligation to pass on a vast majority of their earnings to the shareholders, this is not something that we should be worrying about. Additionally, we want to take a look at their top 20 tenants here. You can see Walgreens, 7-Eleven. These are all very large places who have multiple stores opened across the nation. I know the one year's down 11% as we saw earlier. If you can purchase this stock now, as these companies begin opening up, the gyms, AMC, movie theaters, then that price is sure to rise again in the future. The next stock we're looking at today is Shaw Communications, stock ticker SJR. Here's the one year chart, and this is a telecommunications company in Canada. 
This is the other monthly dividend payer that I'm invested into and re recommend that you guys look into doing so. They have a lot of future growth potential coming up with the new technology of 5G. Investors haven't really seen the full capabilities of 5G yet, but it's sure to make an impact in the technology world and data handling likewise. We can take a look at the dividend here. They're paying out 4.66% annually. But it also should be noted that this does not concern them with growing their dividend from year to year. The third stock we'll be discussing is Altria Group, stock ticker MO. This is one of the largest tobacco manufacturers in the United States right now alongside Philip Morris. Here's the one-year chart currently trading at $42.18. One of the reasons I like this stock so much is that they offer an 8.28% dividend yield with a payout ratio of 79%. Now this payout ratio of 79% is very high, but you have to take into account that the company has been growing their dividend for the past 50 years. When companies grow their dividend for so long, they will generally change their business model before cutting that dividend. As a large company cuts their dividend, Investors see that and they get very sheepish on it. That signifies that the company does not have enough cash flow to pay out all their investors. I originally wasn't going to talk about this stock, but since I brought up gold earlier, I figured we would take a look at it anyway. This is another company that I'm personally invested in. It's Newmont Corporation, currently trading at $68.91. They are one of the largest gold mining companies and have mines all across the world. You can see on the one-year chart that we are currently trading plus 84% for the year. As I said, that the price of gold has skyrocketed, and many people expect it to do so for the remainder of the year. Here you can see all the different mines they have across the world. One of the reasons I like Newmont more than a smaller gold mining company that may just be starting out is because they are well diversified in many continents and when the price of gold drops, as it indefinitely will eventually, then they will still have other streams of income which will help them exceed their expenses. A smaller company who just started out mining and only has one mine, if the price of gold falls dramatically very quickly, then they're going to have trouble keeping their expenses down under what they're bringing in. Newmont, who's been mining for years and has a multitude of mines, are better equipped to deal with a lessened income and will have an easier time cutting expenses if need be. Thank you all for coming to the video today. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below in the comments if you favor the core satellite investing strategy over the five different ETFs which we talked about yesterday. Don't forget, as always, to do your own due diligence when searching for stocks and ETFs to invest in. Never blatantly just copy someone. There very may well be something that they are overlooking or something that they may not find as a deprecating factor, but you yourself consider it to be. I'm Patrick Zimmerman. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you on Monday for another video.